Today's the day we are finally reopening our Tesla dealership. And right here is where we're going to be building it. Check it out. We just bought this piece of land. I've been in contact with the man, the myth, Elon Musk. And yeah, we're going to reopen a new dealership right on this corner in New York. That is right. The big city needs some more Tesla electric vehicles. So we decided let's reopen it and let's go big this time. So we've got a brand new Model S here looking clean. It's got the new headlight design. It's got every option on this thing. It's the Tesla Model S Plaid. So it's very fast. And then we're actually going to go swing by the store or the warehouse delivery. And they picked up a boatload of more Teslas from Elon. He sent all these over for us to sell. Look, we got every color, every different model. Got all the Model S's. Some are Plaid, some are not. And then we've got the Model X with the giant doors that are butterflies. Let me show you best feature on this model look at that the door swings open like a spaceship and this thing is sweet we've got actually the extra seat option in the middle so you can fit seven people very comfortably and then yeah this is uh this is about it so we're gonna head back to our piece of land and we're gonna jump into construction mode get this property built because uh we gotta get open quick new york is always busy and we don't have any time to waste so we'll see you guys when we're back at the place all right, so when I was going over the sketches with our boy Elon, he said that he wanted it to be very nice. So we got a big budget. If you can see, we've got $5.3 million up in the right corner to spend on this build. Obviously, we need to save some for operating costs, but let's go over to our dealership and let's start off by getting it placed down. So we need to have a nice corner appeal. Over here, it doesn't seem like there's much space. So we're going to go back in the corner here. This is still a great spot. And then we're going to have the full front lot out here for vehicles so uh that's pretty much the plan let's get into landscape mode let's redo the cement here it's a little bit of a mess but i think we just bring this straight out into the street there we go looks good have it curve around over to here and then this is all going to be cement on this end too so here we go all right that's a good start so obviously dealerships are known for having like giant parking lots because they have a lot of inventory vehicles to store uh, so yeah, we got a big parking lot and then we're going to make this little rock texture here. This is kind of a cool little thing. Maybe we'll do some promotional thing with the uh, Cybertruck. That's actually coming pretty soon. We haven't got any models in yet, but we're going to do our best to get our hands on one because those new Cybertrucks, even though they look a little weird, they're still cool to drive. They've got a ton of power and they're still one of the leading vehicles in the electric industry. So we're going to try and get some of those here. But yeah, this is looking good already. Here's the dealership. Uh, we can go do a quick tour before we get moving on with the build. Let's actually uh, pull up to the door, see if it opens. It's supposed to recognize when it's a dealer vehicle and then open up the garage door. So, all right, open Sesame. Open Sesame. Oh my gosh, it's not opening. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, Elon. All right, let's start with the showroom here. So as you can tell, we've got a bunch of nice desks in here for our salesman. We've got three sales desks, uh, some shelves. We need to put some parts on there. There's a Model S up there, the white one. Here's our Cyber Truck. But this is the semi Tesla. So this thing is sweet. So let's see, percent of US fleet, 1%, whatever that means. It says payload equal to diesel truck due to the mega charger. Uh, trucking journeys are about 500 miles. Uh, this one can last up to a million miles before braking. That's what Elon said. Wow, that's crazy. Over here, we've got the Tesla Rod Free Sign. Not sure what that means. I'm sure electric still costs money, but yeah, we've got a little service desk over here. And then in the back, we've got a little washing compartment, a little power washer back here, two big overhead doors. And then we're going into the service shop here. You should turn on the lights on while we're out here. Perfect. All right. Now we're in the service department. Now this is where it gets kind of cool. I love the red doors up top. We've got a giant service shelf and yeah, look at these. These are pretty cool. You actually have to control them right on this side. There, how you go up and then you go down and then let's see what other options can we do left and right okay that's not working but yeah you can go up and down with the lift which is cool this one goes up and down oh there we go we got it to move okay perfect but it keeps coming back but anyhow yeah that's how you do that and then this is the up that's sweet okay then you could put them against the wall so you can hide them if you want the service floor open here's the parts department storage and then we got a door directly into the storm, which is nice. So if we ever have to check on a service, just go right through this little door right here. So, all right, that is the plan. The view is pretty good. It's still busy. See, there's all those cars driving around over here. This isn't in the right downtown of New York, but it's still just a ton of cars. And then it's funny part is the gas station is right next door. Like he's delivering a truckload of diesel right now. 
And yeah, that, that's where the gas station is, is literally right across the street. So, hey, if they get sick of having to wait to fill up, you know, they just come buy an electric car and their problems are solved. So, all right, let's go finish off this build. We've got a lot of work to do. So let's jump back into construction mode. The ground was looking a little rough here, so we need to smoothen it out. There we go. We're going to create a little ramp so that it's easier to drive the vehicles up on. Smooth it all out. Let's see, like right there. Perfect. Okay, so I think this is a good basis. And now we're going to put down a cool little thing. Let's go into tools again, a little electric chargers here. So we're going to put three superchargers right here. They aren't Tesla brand, but maybe we'll have Elon send some. So we got four now. I was going to put three, but let's put four. And then we get the handicap spots. That's good. We're going to need some chargers over here by this service door. There we go. Perfect. And then service department in the back here. So, all right. We got plenty of chargers, maybe more for service vehicles. One, two, three. All right. We got nine chargers. That is enough. So, okay. That's good. I want to add in a gate too because gates are cool just so we can keep everything safe when at night so we don't get robbed. This is New York. So, you got to be very cautious here. Uh, this gate is kind of cool. So, we're going to place this down. Let's see. I like this one. So there we go. We're going to curve here. All right, perfect. And then we'll take it around the side of the building. Looks good. And then they can't climb that rock wall. So that isn't going to work. But yeah, this will keep everything inside the gates. I think we should go with maybe some cones to kind of guide the service department in. Uh, let's see. We'll put a cone here. Perfect. And then more cones here. Looking good. All right. I'm going to wrap up this build, guys, really quick. And then once I'm done, I will show you guys the finished product. I'm just going to add a little bit of detailed touches here, and then we'll be done. So we'll see you guys when this place is all complete. And then we got to drive over the car, so stick around. All right, here's the finished product. We did some touch-ups in the landscape in here, as you can tell. Planted some flowers, bring some color to the property, too. We need that in New York. There's not much color. It's just a bunch of buildings. And then you come around the corner here. I added the lawn back down, some little cool plants back here in case we get a shop dog and then we put in some giant palm trees in right next to the dealership i think it looks really cool got the lights underneath here at nighttime it looks sweet and that's more plants over here and then i actually built a pond because when we do special photos when we post it online having a pond in the background then the dealership would look absolutely cool uh because the the vehicle will reflect off the water so we'll figure something out i think we're gonna put like a little thing in the center and then we're going to put the car on top for photos so let us know what we should do with the pond i think it looks cool we might add some fish in there and and then people can go fishing at the dealership so hey anything we could do to bring in customers we're going to do so all right that is pretty much it now we got to go bring over the vehicles we're going to test drive each of them one's a plaid one's a knot uh and then we already actually drove mine here so we only have 12 more vehicles to bring over so let's go over to the warehouse and grab them all and bring them over here. Alrighty, here we go. I'm pulling out with the, just the Tesla Model S. This is not a plaid, as you can tell. And uh, this is just like one of the average vehicles. This is like the little four-door sedan. So this is a great car just for driving around. And then we got, I think, three of these. These are in the light gray color. So this is a great color too. We're going to put these right over next to the busy road. So let's just line them up here. Perfect. Okay, now let's go grab one of the Model Xs. I want to show you guys that, but... Here, let's open up the doors. I can show you the inside. So look at the wood interior. That is so cool. You got a giant touchscreen. There's plenty of leg room in the back seat. And then here's the trunk. Look at how much room is in the back. You could put the whole grocery store back there. And then we got the frunk. So there's there's no engine. So you have a whole other trunk in the front. Otherwise known as a frunk. It's all insulated too. See that yellow pad? So you can keep everything cold, warm, whatever you want. Here's the inside. So yeah, it's just super nice. Here's the screen. Shows you where all the chargers are at. And then your battery right there. You got your music playing. All the cool stuff. And the wood is just a great touch. Look at that wood. I think it's called walnut. Uh, I'm not sure what the material is, but it's it's very good looking wood. So all right, let's go grab over to the Model X and then drive that thing over. Wait, what? Deer in New York. Come back here, boy. I did not know there was... Oh, he just ran through the house. All right, here's the Model X. Now, these we have in white and orange, and then we might get some more colors like red and stuff. But for now, we're starting out with these. This is our first load of Teslas. There we go. Take a right. Jeez, this thing handles really good, and it's quick, too. It's got an upgraded engine, and it's got the self-driving package, all the cool stuff. This one still needs to get some service work done before it's prepped, so we're going to just leave it to the service department. And then let's show you a little tour here. So the doors, as you know, go up. We got a whole trunk back here. I mean, it's a little tight in the back seat. I think they maybe need to take out the center thing. 
Uh, we don't need the center seat, really. Uh, but then we have the frunk up here, too, which is a lot more space. So, yeah, that is about it, guys. Uh, we're going to go bring the rest of the vehicles over, and then I want to show you guys what it looks like when they're all back here, and then we're done. We're going to put some in the showroom, too. So, yeah, that's the next step. Let's bring two more over, put them in the showroom. Let's get the doors open up for us so that they're ready. Oh, look at this Tesla floor mat. That is sweet. Turn on the showroom lights. Nice and bright LEDs. All right, let's go grab the other vehicles. All right, just a casual New Yorker driving down here. You look to your right. Look at all those Teslas. We lined them up all nice. They look great. Those are the Model S's. And then we got to get the other X. I think there's three more that we need to get in. This is going to be the first one that's going in the showroom. We got an all black one here. So let's go ahead and back it in the doors. Elon said it should fit. So, oh, yeah, it's tight. Jeez. All right, then we got to crank it without hitting the front of the door. Okay, now straight back. Now don't hit the desk. Perfect. Actually, that was like almost a perfect fit. I don't know if the X is going to fit through here. The thing's a little bit wider. So, all right. So there's what it looks like in the showroom. We could probably get a couple more cars in there. For now, we're going to start with just two. And then let's go grab the X. We're going to put it right here. And we need to sweep up the floors. Jeez, we already got them dirty. All right, close up the door on this one. This one's going in the showroom. So here we go. We're taking this one for a little test drive. This is sweet. I don't know if I drove you guys in this thing yet, but it is uh, it's good handling. I think I did, but hey, let's go for another test drive. Oh my gosh, swerving through traffic. Here we go. All right, let's take a left and then, oh my gosh, like I said, this is going to be a tight fit for the Model X. Uh, we're going to do our best here though, but all right, stop and then turn the wheel hard over. All right, stop there. Oh, that's close. Look at that. All right, now straight back. All right, perfect. There we go. We got the dealership vehicles in the showroom, and we are done. Oh, that's a cool picture. So we got the Model Ys up there, too. We haven't got any Model Y. I wish we do. Those are uh, those are a lot cheaper, so that people can afford them more. These Teslas are very expensive. The X is, like, close to 100 and the S, too. So, yeah, maybe we'll get some Y models in here. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments. That is going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's reopening our Tesla dealership. This has been a while. I think it's been about a year. And we're coming back stronger than ever in New York. This could be a great business for New York since, you know, you're just driving like short distances in the city. This car is actually great for that. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one.